ready to go run all of my errands as you may or may not know since it is friday um tonight starts shabbat or my sabbath day so after um sunfall tonight i am not going to be able to do any more work cooking cleaning any kind of work um at all so i am now going and getting ready to go run all my errands. I'm going to go grocery shopping and yeah, I will be bringing you all along with me. Get in loser. We're going shopping. Okay. So before we head off the island, um, to go into Naples to run all of our errands, I have to show you guys one of my favorite little hidden spots on Marco Island. If you didn't know, there's actually a gorgeous, gorgeous beach, like right underneath the main bridge going um, out of the island. So I just stopped here really quick so that I could show you guys around. I've come here a bunch of times um, for photo shoots and my husband really likes to come over here to fish. So I try to stop here anytime I can to just check it out. So let's go. is all literally right under like this overpass thing and it just goes to show you like no matter where you are in marco island you are going to find something absolutely breathtaking absolutely beautiful and i think too i think this is a good spot for me to give you all a little fit check i've got a green matching set on that i actually made i'm really proud of it um so i'm gonna go ahead and show that to you guys now while exploring my desire to dress more modestly while also maintaining my unique personal style and wanting to dress chic and trendy, I have honestly realized that it is just easier for me to make my own clothes. It is so much fun. So I will find a design a style that is super trendy right now that I love and then I will recreate it I'll make some tweaks so that I feel more comfortable wearing it and this is one of those looks I would love to make a video sharing more about my journey to modest dressing if you would ever be interested in something like that let me know in the comments I just left um, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, <laughs> Marshalls, and I know that you Florida people are going to fight me on my pronunciation, but B E A L L S is Beals. I just left Beals, not Bells. If it was Bell, wouldn't you spell it B E L L? The only reason that I bring that up is my husband spent like 15 years in Florida and um lived here for a long time and he i always want to say beals and he's like bells 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 anyways beals bells whatever it doesn't matter because they did not have what i need i have been looking everywhere for like i just have something very specific in mind that i want for um the throw pillows in our main bedroom and i couldn't find them here it is literally everything that I can do not to like go into Ulta right now. Um, I have to keep on my schedule. I still have to grocery shop and I am going to run over to Target. I'm also looking for like a little shrug thing, like a little cover because I have this new strapless dress and yeah, I need to find something so that I can wear it out in public. So let's continue on our journey. Uh, I just made it over to Target my hair is an absolute mess um and it is just now hitting noon yes it took me that long to get over here 
even though it's not season it is naples so it's pretty much just bumper to bumper traffic all the time but i am like way kind of like further out um from like the main area of naples so this is the target that i like to come to because it's a little bit quieter um and i am just so hopeful that they have what i need so that i can get um get groceries and head back home I just got to a fresh market and it is hot um, and I am honestly I'm going in there with zero plan um, for dinner I know that I want to do like some sort of chicken dish so I am just gonna go in there and kind of let the mood take me Not only did I score us an amazing dinner for tonight, but I also found the most adorable, cutest, and perfect little throw pillows for the main bedroom. So mission accomplished, and now I want to go home and enjoy the pool for a few hours before Shabbat starts because I will not be able to swim once it does. I found all of the ingredients to make my Jerusalem chicken and I am boiling some eggs for tomorrow. I made myself a mocktail and I am going to start cleaning and getting the house ready for Shabbat. Throughout the week, I find myself getting excited for Shabbat and preparing for it like it's a holiday because really, if you think about it, it, it is. And I love preparing my house, cleaning, making the dinner, getting the candles all set out. I just, I really love it. I find it so relaxing. And then tomorrow morning, I will go to the Chabad and yeah, it will be a beautiful Shabbat. You may have already noticed, but I do not keep strict kosher. I do not eat forbidden meats, but I came into the journey of wanting to be more observant a little bit later in life than I think most people do. So I am really just trying to take it one step at a time. I have really enjoyed so much learning all of these things, incorporating them into my daily routine, but this is where I am at right now. This is what is working for me and my family. You may disagree with it. That is okay. And it's working for me for now. Well, my lovelies, thank you so much for spending the entire day with me. I had so much fun and I hope that you did too, but it is about that time where I am going to light my candles. So my lovelies, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or evening, but I will see you in my next video. Bye.